So the first of today's events over Timber then is the Per Temps final. It's a Grade 3 handicap hurdle and you had to qualify for this one. I'm not sure how many of the people that qualified did actually turn up for the race, but we'll have a look at it. Sir Gerhard at the top for David Hooley, Bell Kennan for Alex Cherry, Bragorn for Graham Quintable, Harling Jules, David Robertson, Tamanaco Gift, Darren Thompson, Equator, and Ernest Stravinsky for Paul Rhodes, French Vacation for Leon Van Rensburg, Sauce It Up, Ryan Tamasevi, and Climbing Shadows for Craig Beckwith. So just 10 then, so that makes me think that they didn't all come here as they're called in and away. In fact, I know they didn't because I had one qualified for this and I've sent it somewhere else. So Equator. He's the first to show. And gets down to the first of the 12 flights, which they all get over nicely. And it looks like Sir Gerhard might be interested in the lead equator, though. He's winning the battle, it would seem, at the moment, to be the leader. And races past the water jump and opens up there by a good two or three lengths as they get over flight number two, which they're all safely over. I did see some pretty crashing falls yesterday over the hurdles, which we don't normally see, so... Your eyes open today as well as they get over number three. And uh, the Equator is the leader, leading by a good four or five now. The rest of them are pretty tightly packed with Climbing Shadows and Harling Jewels as just the back two. But only about a length off the rest of them. And the pace doesn't seem all that hot. They've got a long way to go. It's a three mile of this, and Equator is the leader. Coming down to flight number four. They're all safely over that one, although Sir Gerhard made a bit of a mess of it and has been shuffled right back to the back of the pack as a result. But Equator leads in, and now races downhill and will soon swing left handed with a lead of a good six lengths. To Bragorn has moved up into second, sorted up on the rail, trying to give Ryan Tamasevi a quick treble. Then comes Bell Kennan and Tamanarko Gift. Ernest Stravinsky is wide on the track, that's a stable mate of the leader. And then Climbing Shadows has moved forward on the rail and Harling Jules is next in the turquoise and mauve hoops and then the back to the purple jacketed Sir Gerhard and the royal blue with the yellow cap of French Vacation who's probably the favourite as they get over number five and all safely over that one with Equator in front and Saucy up only about four or five lengths back now in second Bell Kennan in third for Alex Cherry, had a double yesterday. Great start to the festival for him. Uh, Climbing Shadows come up the inside, has moved into fourth. And Tamanarko, Gift and Bragorn, and Harling Jules, Sir Gerhard, and finally French Vacation, just the back marker. So racing down towards the next then. And Equator will lead over it. I think will be the last on the next circuit. They're about to make their way left handed now, then, and out for another complete circuit. You can see that shoot there doled off today, and they go around this part of the course. And it's Equator in front, source it up his second, and then Climbing Shadows is back in third with Bell Kennan and Ernest Stravinsky, and then Sir Gerhard is now creeping closer to the lead again. Then comes Brigorn and Harling Jules and French Vacation, and their Tamanarko gift has been relegated to the back spot there's still the best part of a mile and a half to go and Equator is in the lead and it's still five lengths clear as they get over number seven which they're all safely over the French Vacation making a bit of a forward move on the outside but it's still Equator in front Saucy up second and Climbing Shadows is probably just third with a line of three of them there as they get to number eight and they're all safely over number eight as well with Equator still in the lead. Saucy up, Bell Kennan and Climbing Shadows 2, 3 and 4. Then Ernest Stravinsky is in 5th with Sir Gerhard on the inside of Bragorn as they take number 9. Tamanaka Gift jumped that one quite well and went past Bragorn in the air. They back to our French Vacation and Harling Jules as they race down towards the final mile then in the Per Temps Network final and Equator He's in the lead by four lengths to source it up Bell Kenner and Climbing Shadows three together. Then comes Ernest Stravinsky and Sir Gerhard. Tamanarko Gift is next as they get over number 10. That's the third from home. Still got seven furlongs to race, but only two more flights to take. And Equator. I've seen another horse for some time. 
with four five clear off saucy up second bell cannon third then as they race downhill and prepare to swing left-handed and make the make their way towards home and it's equator in front from saucy up second bell cannon third now french vacation starts to make its move and cruises ominously into fourth and seems to be absolutely eating up the ground on the outside also climbing shadows is going well but the jockey's got himself a little bit boxed in ernest stravinsky's trying to make a move tamanarco gift is also trying to run on sir gerhard's van nothing harlan jules and brigorn haven't got into it at all yet and they're gonna have to get going soon if they want to but equator is now being challenged by stable mate ernest stravinsky and ernest stravinsky's taking it up it's ernest stravinsky's taking the lead in between the final two flights ernest stravinsky's gone too clear equator's now under pressure then comes french vacation and sources up tamanarco gift looks the big danger now on the outside as french vacation fluttered to deceive bell kennan trying to run on again climbing shadows is being switched to the outside but it's ernest stravinsky who's now four clear of tamanarco gift in second sources up now battling away on the inside then Bell Kennan and French Vacation only got two furlongs to go and they're racing down there towards the final flight it's Ernest Stravinsky in the lead from Sauce It Up and Tamanarco Gift Ernest Stravinsky then coming down towards his final flight looking like he probably only got a jump but gets over it nicely but a really good jump by Sauce It Up can it be three on a spin for Thomas Nebby it's Ernest Stravinsky in the lead Sauce It Up's trying to close Ernest Stravinsky is still too clear and looks to have enough in hand and the professor's going to get on the scoreboard is he Sauce It Up's trying to close again Bell Kennan back in third but Ernest Ernest Stravinsky's going to take it. Ernest Stravinsky's the winner and sauce it up. He's second, then Bell Cannon is third and French Vacation four, and then climbing shadows and Salmon Arco gift. Equator dropped out of it. And Equator, Sir Gerhard and Harlan Jules never got a blow in. And the Professor is back. You'd have told me three or four seasons ago we'd be third racing today, two of the festival before he had a winner. Oh, I just laughed at you, but he's. Not quite the powerhouse he was over the national hunt at the moment, but he's getting his way back, and that's his first winner of the festival. So Ernest Stravinsky, the winner for Paul Road, sourced up for Ryan Tamasebi was second. What a great day he's having so far. Bell Kennan for Alex Cherry was third. French Vacation for Leon van Rensburg found nothing at all was fourth. Quite a disappointing favourite that one. And Climbing Shadows for Craig Beckwith was fifth, and the jockey got that one in a little bit of bother when it mattered most.